Since the launch of the Google Pixel Fold with its very wide tablet display, there's been a lot made of the fact that some apps, not all of them, but some apps, some important apps, do not properly scale themselves. They don't resize themselves across that inner tablet display. I'm not going to go into this too deeply because I've talked about it 5,200 times already. And I've suggested you guys one easy solution for this is to, whenever you can, use what's called a progressive web app, the PWA. And I've made a whole video on this already. That video will be linked down below, basically, short version. Go to the website for that application, like Twitter or something like that, and click on the little three dots, hit install this website or install this as an app. It will install and it will run effectively like an application that properly scales itself to whatever screen you're on. That works really well. However, there's a problem. Not all websites present themselves as a PWA, and so they are not installable in that way on your Chrome browser. In this video, we're going to take a look at an application called Hermit that will rectify that problem. So what you're going to want to do is head to the Google Play Store and install this application. It is called Hermit Light Apps Browser, and this is what is going to enable us to install websites any website we see fit as a full screen web app. Once it is installed, you can jump into the app and you can see I already have threads installed now. Let's go ahead and jump into this and you can see this looks like a proper application. It is full screen and everything works pretty well. You can switch between the for you and the following tab. Everything is right there at your disposal. And what this is, is the web browser. And what's cool is you can actually add this to your home screen. Let me show you that really quickly. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make our own new web app for a random website. You can take this icon. I could drop it into my folder here next to the threads application. However, I want to go about this. I can drop it on my home screen on my bar down below. And now this application will launch straight up like that, just like a real app. So how do we do this? How do we actually create this? Let's click on the create button and you can see create your own and then ready-made light apps. Let's look at the ready-made apps and you can see all of these things that will potentially work just fine. And a cool thing about these is because they are web apps, they are light apps, they're not going to be running in the background in the same way as a traditional app. So it's going to use less battery, potentially better privacy if you're concerned with that kind of stuff. And all of these will work. In fact, pretty much any website is going to work just fine. So here's an application that Google absolutely needs to fix. This is YouTube Studio, and it is how YouTubers like myself keep track of things on our channel, our subscribers, our revenue, all of these sorts of things, comments, etc., etc. And as you can see here, it is pillar boxed and does not look good at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a web app for this functionality to just use the website. So let's go back to create and let's click on create your own. We're going to type in studio.youtube.com. Let's go. Now we need to sign in. I'm just going to leave this on a secondary account so that you can't see revenue and all that stuff. Nothing for me to have to blur there to keep private. But of course, I could simply hit this and then switch channels once it is installed. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and click on create light app. We're going to change the name here because that's very, very long. We're just going to make it be YouTube Studio. And in fact, I think I'm going to get rid of all this too because the channel is going to be wrong. This way it'll just go to studio and it'll work out just fine that way. Let's click on that and let's click on OK. And we can go and add this to the home screen. And as you can see, it should pop up right up here in a moment. Boom, there it is. Now, there's a few things that we need to do though because whenever we load into this, we have an address bar up at the top and that is cutting into our screen real estate. So let's click on the gear. Let's scroll down and let's do frameless. So that's already a lot better because that frame up there is gone. But this is gray and I don't really love the look of that. It just looks odd. So let's click on the gear again. Let's go down to theme and then let's click right there and let's just make it black. Actually, no, I lied. Let's not do black. Let's do, let's do red. So let's go and pick sort of a red color and we'll boost it a little bit. That should look okay. We can go back a couple of times and now it should load back in. Here's YouTube Studio with a nice red bar up at the top and it looks a whole heck of a lot better than it did before with the official app. Let's go ahead and go to our cover display here. Let's load it back up. And of course, it's gonna work fine here too. You're probably gonna need a pinch to zoom in. And in this instance, the official app is probably going to work better. But that being said, some applications like Threads will do a decent job of actually changing the layout just enough to make this make sense. See, this is what it looks like. This is the web app. 
And whenever I open it up, boom, there you go. It's gonna switch to a different layout because Threads is a website that actually has both layouts for their website that actually scales properly. So I'm not promising that every website will work perfectly. You're gonna have varying degrees of success with this, but this does open the door to many more web apps than you had before. Ones like Threads seem to work pretty darn well. It wasn't an option with Chrome right now, but with Hermit, it's going to work just fine. YouTube Studio, same way, and perhaps you know of many more that you would like to try yourself. So again, if the app doesn't scale correctly, if resizing is disabled by the developer and you get pillar boxing because of that, but they have a website that maybe has a mobile site and a desktop site, check this out, give it a try, install the application, the application like that, and let me know how it worked for you in the comments down below. Guys, I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.